John Mercanti designed the spectacular obverse design for the U.S. Platinum Eagle, pulling off an incredible artistic coup by presenting the face of the Statue of Liberty full on, which is an incredibly difficult artistic feat. We asked John to share the story behind his dramatic design for the first ever U.S. Platinum series. It gives you a lot of flexibility. The obverse, I, when I developed the obverse, I, I think of the denomination when I design a coin. Uh, I always think of the size of the coin. Um, and I knew that was going from a one, one ounce to a one tenth ounce. So um, standard full length statue is not going to work at one tenth ounce. It's going to be very hard to see, very hard to reproduce. Because we didn't, we didn't have the tools at that time. We weren't into digital technology. The, the tool, the, the, the width of the tool was, su was such that it wasn't going to give a, a crisp, clear image at that, uh, at that denomination, one tenth ounce. So I, I did typically, as I said uh, earlier today, I, I zoomed in and I zoomed in on her face to get the closest view of the statue so that when I get down at one tenth, I know exactly who it is. So in my mind, I'm, uh, I'm at the one ounce, but ideally I'm at the tenth ounce because that's where, that's where my, uh, uh, most people are going to buy that, that, that could afford it. A lot of people uh, buy the one tenth ounce as opposed to buying the one ounce, of course, because it's a lot less, inexpen less, less expensive. So I wanted, I wanted that to kick at that, at that, at that uh, size. So that's what I did. I, I zoomed in and I, I, I took her whole head and uh, the rays coming out from her head. But I had to feminize her a little bit because uh, uh, powers that be didn't think that we could sell her the way she really is. And she is very stern, incre incredibly stern. Uh, maybe too much, literally. So we, we, we softened her and we, we uh, worked her neck to, to, as I said, to feminize her. And, and she, looks, she looks good and she served, a, she served us well. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that John is uh, underestimating um, of what his contribution was, was when you uh, take a look at this uh, uh, coin, because not only was it going to be a uh, collector's proof version, mm -hmm. but because it was going to be a bullion version at various denominations, mm -hmm. including a one tenth ounce, that gets pretty small because it's yeah. the size of a penny. And you have to be worried about how that design is going to come out. And John's design uh, not only uh, fit that, but it was a full um, uh, frontal uh, of Liberty's face. And uh, it's a lot easier to do a profile which is why it's on most coins, a lot more difficult to do a full uh, you know, face on. And John was able to do that with uh, uh, Liberty, which is uh, among artists, one of the most challenging things to do is to do that uh, uh, face portrait uh, done really well so it comes out recognizable. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he did. Uh,